Portsmouth man charged in the brutal beating of a Suffolk police officer last May will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Now, that's the sentence that Joe Staten received this afternoon, despite his apology for the attack. Ten on your side's Ava Hurdle was in the courtroom, along with many of the officer's colleagues. Ava? Tom, Staten pleaded guilty to the charges back in October and faced sentencing today in a courtroom packed with police officers. Dozens of Suffolk police officers leave the courthouse after the sentencing, there to support fellow officer James Winslow. Police dash cam video shows Joe Staten getting out of a vehicle after a traffic stop. Police say Staten ran into the woods with the officer following him and beat him so severely he was later found unconscious with a head injury. Staten apologized before a life sentence plus 40 years was imposed. We're certainly relieved that this uh, phase of uh, process is behind us. Uh, James has um, you know, more surgeries to go. We felt like to date uh, the system worked as it should and that justice was served. Assistant Commonwealth's Attorney George Brooke recalled testimony that was heart-wrenching. The officer's mother pretty much put it in perspective of that is her child regardless of his age and what she had to deal with, what she had to see was something that some parents should never have to see. Officer Winslow initially underwent surgery to reconstruct his face. Jones hopes he can now move on. It was important for uh, the court to hear from his perspective what happened uh, that day. No doubt he is a, uh, you know, what he went through, we hope no one else ever has to go through, but just hearing the testimony to me was very um, powerful. He called Winslow a determined young man with great support from his family, friends, and the community. Now, we were unable to reach Staten or his attorney for an interview. I'm Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.